Here on The Place, we are beefing up the holidays and bringing you some cuts for your wish list this holiday season. Joining me is Samantha Riley to bring us some tips and recipes for all of your holiday cooking. Samantha, thanks for being here with yeah, me. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're really excited uh, to share with everybody how you can incorporate beef into your holidays. Yeah, absolutely. So talk to me about what cuts make a great holiday cut. So today I've actually got a bone in uh, ribeye roast, um, but you could also use a tenderloin roast or a strip roast, um, whatever your preference is. Um, you know, you can get something that's got a bone in or boneless. Okay. Um, the tenderloin roast is really lean and succulent, so um, that's also great. Um, but today we're going to talk a little bit more about the ribeye roast. All right, and I know you've got some tips, but I do want to ask, we've got two different things going yes. on right here. Can you explain the difference? Yes, yes. So um, as you guys can see, this roast is actually in a, in a roasting pan um, with a rack. Now, not okay. everybody has one of these at home, so we want to make sure that if you want to go out and purchase this beautiful beef and cook it yeah. at home, you still have an option. So um, you can take another roasting pan or a cookie okay. sheet, whatever you've got at home, and then take a bunch of tin foil and kind of uh, bend it around like this. And you can place the roast on top of this as well. And it works just the same as if you have a roasting rack. Okay, so no difference in the finished product nope. at all? No difference in the finished product. Um, just a little bit of a cheaper option if maybe you're only cooking a, a big prime rib roast like this once a year. So um, a little, little more economical than going out and purchasing a whole set. All right, and what other tools are helpful for people? Yes, so um, as you guys can see, we've got an oven-proof meat thermometer um, actually in this roast. It's really important to have that, so um, you can actually cook your beef uh, to whatever doneness you prefer. Um, you can use um, another type of meat thermometer if you want to, but um, this is the easiest way. You just stick okay. it in once, pop it in the oven, and you don't have to make a bunch of holes in your roast and yeah. lose all those delicious juices inside. So um, this is a, a great way to be able to track your temperature and see when it's, when it's done. All right, so talk to me about the different cuts and the preheat and preparation of all of those. Yes, so um, as you guys can see with this bone-in prime rib roast, um, we actually have the fat side up and okay. the bones on the bottom. Um, that is going to ensure that it cooks very evenly. Um, and you can actually take it straight from the fridge and, and put it on your roasting rack and into the oven. No need to right. let it sit out on the counter or anything like that. Um, just season it um, to whatever you like. You can do just salt and pepper. You can get real creative. If you go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com, okay. there's tons of recipes on there and you can go all out or you can just keep it simple with salt and pepper. All right, and I know you guys like to go low and slow when yes. you cook, right? Yes, yes. So um, typically, and it, it will depend on the recipe that you're using, but um, typically about 350 degrees. Um, if you want a roast that is kind of medium rare, um, cook it to 135 degrees. If you want something a little more medium, 145. All right, and then it's always important to let it rest. Can you talk about yes, that? Yes, yes, so letting it rest. So once you've taken it out of the oven, you wanna set it out um, roughly 15 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on how big your roast is, of course, um, but let it rest. So all those okay. juices redistribute, so when you slice into it, it's, it's not everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm glad you brought up the slicing because yes. there's always a good way to cut your cuts, right? Yes, yes. So um, something like this bone-in prime rib roast, um, for every rib, that's about two servings per person. Okay. Um, so slice uh, right along those ribs, and um, that's about the perfect serving uh, for that many people. All right, and you guys have a special holiday section on your website, right? Yes, yes, there is an entire holiday section on beefitswhatsfordinner.com. Um, it has everything from roast recipes to beef stuffing to little mini merry meatballs okay. um, for appetizers, whatever you're feeling for the holidays. Uh, there is a beef recipe there on Beef It's What's For Dinner right, under the holiday for section. Almost everybody. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything in between. All right, perfect, Samantha. As always, thanks for being yeah. here today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.